Faustin Jean. It's okay to write your own love story. This is a new bloodline. This is a new generation. Write your own story. I'd like to read an excerpt from a review of the jewelry store that Foster purchased his engagement ring for Jenny from. I've been to many jewelry stores up and down the coast of North Carolina and some in South Carolina, and this is by far the best shop I've ever been in. Great selection and ordered me a great diamond. I'm a little neurotic freak and went back thinking <laughs> some prongs were crooked and they took the ring back multiple times to adjust it for me. This is an example of how Foster's always trying to make things just perfect for Jenny. Foster mentioned he had met this girl at a wedding. He went to Dallas to meet this so-called Jenny. I'll re always remember what he told me after that weekend, that this Jenny had so much planned beyond his wildest beliefs. For the first time, someone had made Foster feel truly accepted, important, like he belonged, and worthy of love. Meeting Foster for the first time was like meeting an old friend from a past life. But what was even more special was that Jenny was happier than I have ever seen. It wasn't a jumping up and down kind of happy. It was a calmness, a comfortableness, and I could tell that nothing in the world mattered to her that night than to be in that moment with him. That's what's special about them is they are in the moment with each other at all times. It is a blessing as a parent, as a friend, as family, to see these two walk this pathway to become one. And I know there's trials, there's tribulations, there's hard times, but I have been blessed by watching them be them. They didn't bump into each other. God brought them together. I can't express how grateful that I am that Foster picked such an amazing and thoughtful sister for me. I can confidently say I've never seen him happier than when he's with Jenny. You both inspire us all. We are so, so happy for your love. And it brings us all great joy that you found one another. Thank you for letting us celebrate you this weekend, Dr. West, and the soon-to-be Mrs. Jenny West. From the bottom of my heart, Thank you, I love you too so much, and Mazel Tov. Having my sister by my side has always been my greatest joy, because no matter what happens, having Jenny with me means that while we may mess it up along the way, eventually we'll figure it out, and we will absolutely have fun while we're doing it. My sister is kind, she is faithful, she is strong, and she is so, so hilarious. <laughs> Jenny is a very rare kind of friend, and I will say, I learned to be a good friend through Jenny. And I know that all of her friends here would agree with that. Jenny makes you feel like you're the, the most important person in the room at all times. Her selflessness is unmatched in any scenario that she's ever in, and her love never wavers. Dr. West! Congratulations on the new title. You are too smart, you're too nice, and you're way too humble about your wakeboarding skills. <laughs> Foster's always serving his friends and looking for ways to help out or be there for others. He's thoughtful, he's selfless, and dependable. All qualities that you hope for in a friend. Radiant. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I'm always here for you. Thank you. Love you. The reality is, is that marriage was God's idea, and He intended for it to be this adventure of a lifetime of getting to journey together and discovering all that God is and all that God's made you to be. One day you'll be sitting on chairs like this, and your kids will be standing up front here, and you'll be doing the same thing, and you'll look back and think, yes, we have raised a new generation, a new dynasty that will live for the King and make their way in this world in wonderful ways. Jenny, I'm so happy this day is finally here. I love you so much, and I'm so excited for you to finally be my wife. First, I vow to follow Jesus and lead you and our family to honor God. Our family will be a light to those around us, loving others with kindness and generosity. I will put you before all others in my life, and I will always be faithful to you. I will protect you, doing everything I can to keep you safe. I will enthusiastically support your hopes and dreams. I will love you intentionally and purposefully, always striving to know you as deeply as I possibly can. I promise to treat you with honor and respect, cherishing you as my wife. I'm so thankful for you. I love you. Foster, it has been one of the greatest honors of my life to bear witness to the man of God that you continue evolving into. And it brings me so much joy to know that I get a lifelong front row seat to watch and encourage you. You're the greatest friend, and I know that you'll be an even greater husband, father, and doctor. I vow to remain committed to spiritual growth and helping to grow in Christ-likeness and show you love, even if it means watching you surf for hours on a cold, windy day. <laughs> I vow to walk alongside you on all of your greatest and your worst days and everyone in between and support you in the ways that you do me. I vow to love you with everything I have for the rest of my days, Foster West. So Foster and Jean, by the authority invested in me by the state of North Carolina, but by the still higher authority of Almighty God, it is my great privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. And you may now kiss your bride as your wife. <laughs> It is now my privilege, folks, to introduce to you Dr. and Mrs. Foster. So I got the inevitable text, I believe it was, from Foster saying, uh, Hey, Mr. Roth, I'd like to come up to see you in Charleston, West Virginia, and have lunch with you. Foster being just like Jenny, passionate, caring, thoughtful person. We had a great conversation, and it was clear that his intentions were true, and you know, he deeply loves my daughter, and I know that you know, Jenny was in love with him. Foster, I genuinely could not think up someone more perfect for Jenny than you are. And I cannot wait for so many memories that we have in the future. So cheers to forever because it's going to be really fun. I can't wait to follow your journey. I know your love for each other and your faith will keep you guys strong in this new chapter that you're both about to set off on. You two are family now, so no matter what life throws your way, we'll do it side by side. I would like for you to yell out what you think Jenny's favorite activity is. If you said a dance party, you were correct. Let's go ahead and raise a glass to our dancing queen, Jenny, and the man that she will be dancing with for the rest of her life, Jenny Foster. May your days May your years, may your memories be filled with chasing great waves, following the sun, smiling brightly, laughing deeply, and loving each other always. We love you. Yeah.